Warning, this video does contain constant stuttering, so viewer discretion is advised. Before the video starts, I just want to mention that subtitles are available, so in case I mispronounce a word, you will have subtitles on to correct any error. You can also check me out on my socials, which will be linked in the description below. Thanks for listening and enjoy this video. I consider him the artist of the millennium. If someone had told me that one day I would be getting, as a musician, um, the Artist of the Millennium Award, I wouldn't have believed it. I'd like to uh, accept the Artist of the Millennium Award myself. I guess they're giving them backstage. Everyone's getting them. On August 29th, 2002, Michael Jackson attended the MTV Video Music Awards held at the Radio City Music Hall in New York City. There, the King of Pop would join the stage with Britney Spears to present the award for Best Pop Video. Britney Spears, who presented the award, praised Jackson as the artist of the millennium in her speech, a phrase that inadvertently led to a major misunderstanding. Hello everyone, welcome welcome back to the channel, my name is The Horseman, and in this week's video we'll be delving into the explanation behind one of the most infamous mix-ups in, in award show history. I know some of y'all were expecting part 3 of my Unreleased Explained series. I've recently started my junior year in college, so video production will be slow for a while. Nevertheless, I'm, keep, I'm keeping my word and uploading a video essay every Monday. So if you're new to the channel, I hope you enjoy and I hope to earn your subscription after the end of, end of this video. This segment of the awards show starts with James Brown joining the stage to perform a skit alongside Jimmy Fallon who happens to be the host of the award show. They then introduce Britney Spears, who comes out to introduce Michael Jackson to the stage. It just so happens that on the day of the 2002 MTV VMAs, it was Michael Jackson's 44th birthday. Britney then praises Michael and how much of an icon he is, and she would go on to say, I am thrilled to be here with you in New York on such a special night. And it's even more special because it just so happens to be someone special's birthday. This is someone who has inspired me and just about everybody in this room and the world. I consider him the artist of the millennium. He's a true innovator who pioneered the art of music video, broke down countless barriers, and sold more records than any other artist along the way. So happy birthday, my friend, the king of pop. Michael Jackson then comes out to a standing ovation as he is presented with a huge birthday cake and a strange trophy-like topping on the cake with a red ribbon tied to it. Michael seemed to have been un underprepared thinking that the cake topping was a trophy, thus he thought he was accepting the non-existent Artist of the Millennium Award due to the title being mentioned in Britney Spears' speech. It became apparent during his speech as he mentioned, When I was a little boy in Indiana, if someone had told me, if someone had told me that one day I would be getting, as a musician, um, the Artist of the Millennium Award, I wouldn't have believed it. <laughs> Um, this is really amazing. I can't believe it. After Michael Jackson read his acceptance speech, thanking God, his parents, fellow associates, and more, Britney awkwardly pushed on to present another award as Michael stayed on, stayed on stage as he realized the mistake. After the, after the award ceremony, a spokesperson for MTV stated it was a bit of a mis misunderstanding and that there is no such award as the Artist of the Millennium. I think some wire, wires got crossed. According to Karen Faye, Michael Jackson's makeup and hairstylist, after the show, Michael was devastated and embarrassed and cried on the car ride back to the hotel. But if the award, if the award wasn't real, then why did Michael pull out a written thank you speech? Well, there have been a couple of theories that explain why Michael Jackson got to the point where he wrote a thank you speech. And please note that these theories may not be legitimate, so take them with a grain of salt. The first theory is that MTV intended to give him the award but decided to pull away from it at the last minute to embarrass him. According to Karen Faye, Michael did not want to attend the award show and allegedly Trudy Green, Michael's music manager at the time, and MTV told MJ in a way to bait him for attending so they could receive higher ratings and revenue, he was going to receive this Artist of the Millennium Award. On MTV's website, it said that Michael Jackson won the award but was, quote, unprecedented, meaning that it was either the first time this award had been presented and will never be given out again, or, or it was Michael Jackson who made it up. This leads to the second theory that Michael Jackson allegedly demanded that an award be given to him. According to the comedian Louis C.K., 
yes, that was C.K. In an interview on an unknown radio show, he, he talked about knowing someone behind the scenes who told him that Michael Jackson demanded that MTV give him the Artist of the Millennium Award at the last minute, and he allegedly demanded that Britney say Artist of the Millennium. The thing is, I know somebody who was working on the sh on the show, on the awards show, <laughs> yeah. and the story was very because you guys thought that he just was so dumb that when he heard Britney Spears say, <laughs> "We like to think that anyway. artist of the millennium," yeah. it's much worse than that. Oh, it oh, is. No. Yes, because they want they were like, "Hey, let's have Michael on the show." It's he's not getting anything because he's not doing anything. Yeah, but it's his birthday, so we'll just honor him. And he's and Britney Spears will introduce him, and he demanded that she say "artist of the millennium." She, he said he won't do it unless she oh, says it. And Britney shit. Spears was like, what? And he was like, he, he, his people said he has to be said right before he comes on, artist of the millennium, or else he won't come on. And they almost said F him, but they finally did it. And he wanted some kind of thing to be presented to them, him. But they like it was a big negotiation. And they said, we'll give, we'll put a wow. cake up there. Following this theory, MTV probably told someone, some intern, to buy a bargain bin trophy and tie a ribbon on it to make it, this award seem legit. Right after this happened, Jimmy Fallon made made a joke about Michael mistakenly believing he had just won an award, intending to embarrass him even further. Thank you. I'd like to uh, accept the Artist of the Millennium Award myself. I guess they're giving them backstage. Everyone's getting them. Between you and me, I, I think he's had some work done. We'll be right back. Go, Pete. This theory kind of makes sense in the context of Michael Jackson's low album sales. Around this time, Michael Jackson was bashing his, his record label, Sony Music, for lack of compensation for him and other artists. This was during Michael's flop era after the failing success of his 2001 studio album, Invincible. So Michael was looking for a comeback and wanted to paint this narrative of him still being incredibly successful and winning these huge awards rather than having really low album sales and being in his flop era. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention that MTV would go on to parody the incident a year later at the 2003 VMAs in a skit with Jack Black wearing a similar Michael Jackson attire accepting a fake award on his birthday. Ironically, the 2003 award show took place on Jack Black's 34th birthday. <laughs> Seriously, people! If someone had told me when I was a little kid that I was going to win the Super Genius of the Universe Award, I'd have said, you know way, you're crazy. And I won it! I won it! In conclusion, Michael Jackson's appearance at the 2002 MTV VMAs, intended as a celebration of his birthday, quickly turned into an infamous moment of confusion and controversy. What was meant to be a simple recognition of his influence by Britney Spears led to Michael believing he was receiving a, a special award. This misunderstanding compounded by an unclear speech and, a, and the presentation of a makeshift trophy resulted the public embarrassment for Michael Jackson and a few numerous theories about the incident. And all the fans around the world, I love you. God bless you. Thank you. Well, folks, that's the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, video productivity will be slow for a couple of months, which expl which means there will be a halt in the Unreleased Explained series. However, I will keep you. I will keep my promise and try to post at least one video essay every week. And I recently found out that I was mentioned in a fake leaks wiki page, but I'll probably explain more in a, in a future video. On a brighter note, I recently created a Discord so server, if you, so if you would like to get immediate updates on anything MJ related, get early access to some content on my channel, or ask me direct questions, the link of the Discord is in the description and in the, pin in the pinned comments below. I would like to take the time to wish an early, wonderful, heavenly birthday to one of, if not the greatest, entertainers of the 20th century, the king of pop, rock, and soul. Michael Jackson. He would have turned 66 years old on August 29th. Be sure to subscribe and ring the bell icon so you won't miss my latest videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next one.